Hey everyone, Soundwave884 here with another Transformers Generation Selects review. And this review is going to be of Wanda from In Living Color. We can take a look at her overly garish lipstick. I'm going to rock your world. Okay. Okay, this, so this is Lancer. Uh, she's one of the other female Autobots from the Generation 1 cartoon. She was a background character in the Search for Alpha Trion episode. Along with Greenlight. I believe it's her name. So she is pretty much just a straight up retooling of like these. This with a Wanda-esque face sculpt. So if you had any of the other Finbots, uh, Moon Racer, Green Light, Nova Star, or I think she, Fire Star, uh, you know what you got here. Uh, Chromia is the only one who is slightly different, as uh, she's also a little bit smaller, shorter. She doesn't actually combine with any of uh, Alita One's stuff. But where the colors are nice, uh, I just I'm not too big on the the, the head sculpt, man. The, the lips lay off the Botox. By the way, I like her weapon a lot more. It's pretty much it's just this one right here that uh, Nova Star has. It's just got some nice paint added to it, which is nice. She also has some nice painted silver uh, rims going on in there. But otherwise, I mean the colors are fine. The orange against the purple, not bad. Articulation, you know what you gotta expect here. She's got shoulders there, elbow, ball jointed elbows. She's got a waist swivel. She's got ball jointed hips. She's got knees. Uh, toe tilts for no, this way. There's no ankle tilts or anything. Well, no, take that back. She does have an ankle tilt. Made a slight one. Made a liar out of me. Again, she has that three foot backpack, but she has enough weight in her lower body to handle it. As long as you don't just lean her like way back, she's fine. Because she's got, no, their legs are solid. There's no hollowness really in the thighs or anything. So they got some weighty thighs. I like my women with some weighty thighs. You know it. Overall details, like I said, she's pretty much just the same mold as Nova Star here. The only noticeable difference is her arms are different. And of course, the stand up one. Uh, the, the head sculpt is, of course, different. Now, if we notice any more as we get into transformation, I'll point that out. And I got two holes down there. Alright. Transformation for Lancer. We'll just take the gun out of her hand, which is very tight in there. We're going to come down here to the feet. Fold these up. There's this tab here. It's going to slot right on that. Then tabs here, just tap the legs together. Come up here, you want to pull these off to the side. Spinner at the waist, 180. This piece here is then going to fold down. So it's tapped into the back of the figure. You want to fold it down over. And there's your tabs here. We'll go through these little slots here. So line it up. Slot it in. Come back up here. Her upper course again we'll do another 180 we want to move her arms out of the way lift her up tuck her head in all the way fold it back down bring these side pieces up there on the shoulder there's these little taps here we'll slide right into the slots to the ball joint on the shoulder and then you take these hands and you want to fold these up and over on this to get it like it's in a car mode and you are done with her vehicle mode very simple transformation very fast very easy and i do like the look of the vehicle mode the best i think the colors really shine more in the vehicle mode i think she looks really good there quick comparisons here with moon racer and green light in vehicle mode you can peg her weapon in after you take this piece here which would be the foot hand piece for your alita one combiner you can now have this in to this and there are two peg holes here, and you can peg her weapon into one of those. Room. Rolls good. So, uh, final thoughts on Lancer. Uh, I love the look of the vehicle mode. The colors in the vehicle mode, I think, pop, look really, really good. Robot mode is the same old, same old you've got with most of your Finbots. Uh, 
the head sculpt i just i really don't like the the look of the face so I was, well, I was never in a hurry to get this figure i just wanted to complete my finbots overall i'm happy to have all these girls together and i think they'll look good together i'm not going to be putting them into a combiner not at all i just waiting for them to make an alita one that's not so large that will fit in with the rest of the female autobots and that's one thing i'm hoping to see maybe from a future wave of war for cybertron that's something they should, probably should have put out in siege but i doubt they want to do that because they had this one coming out and why make another elite one when you have this dude come out to combine with your past elite one but i would like to have a proper scaled elite one figure now you want to say thanks for watching this review if you liked anything don't forget to subscribe hit like and share thanks for watching until the next one peace out